Hi, today I'm going to show you how to hack your PSP so you can use it as a phone. First, what you need the most is the gloves. Some people follow my videos without using gloves and because I say it is professional but they are not professional. So using gloves is the best way to do my tutorials without being electrocuted and not being professional. So you need gloves for this. You also need your phone, your PSP, a PSP cable, Uno card, toothpaste, a cookie, and a dog. What you first are going to do is take your glove and put it on your hand for safety. It gets difficult at first because I'm using one hand because I'm a professional. And I mean, you have to be professional to do this too. What you're going to do next is take your phone and the toothpaste and put it on the phone. It acts like a converter, so then you can put the USB cable on the PSP and the phone properly. You're just gonna take your USB cable and put it on the PSP. Alright, you put you put the PSP inside the cable and see if it fits. If it does fit, and congratulations, you have successful the same step. If it doesn't fit, you can it will always fit fit anyway so there is no reason why it should not fit. The next step is to keep darkling and if it doesn't follow you around then you need to train him like my other video a tutorial. So here's what you're gonna do next. You're gonna take your dark and you're just gonna You just gonna take the other end of the cable and just put it around him. What you wanna do next is take your dark and do the following. I will I will teach you the ten steps in detail because some people are so stupid they cannot tell the difference between easy and hard. And there is a big difference between the two. Right, so here's how you're gonna do. I'm gonna explain. It will take several minutes, but it will work. And you have to listen to me because you're professional and you're not. Okay, so you're gonna take you gonna take your Uno cards and you're just gonna open the box so then you can take a card out and there's a specific card that must be taken out for it to work. Okay, you're gonna take the cards out like so and, and you're gonna take a zero out. A zero is perfect but you cannot use the other cards or else they won't work. Okay, so you're gonna pick up the, the Uno card. It has to be a zero and any card will be just fine. And you just you know, put it inside the phone. And this process you can take off the toothpaste. And you can just open the phone like so. Just put the card inside the phone. And put the toothpaste back on the card. The next thing you're gonna do is take your cable and put it inside your toothpaste. Now there are different ways to do this. I will show you the, the easy way. Just follow my steps. I will not skip this part because I am professional and I want you guys to learn with me. Now after all these complicated steps you can now open up your PSP and then go to settings and go to USB connection just like before. Now the PSP is connected to the phone, to the dock and to the paste and the unicard. I use a screwdriver for this because I'm professional and you're not. Now what you're supposed to do was wait 5 hours for the download to finish and now it is finished. I skip ahead to show you guys how this one is finished. And it is done connecting. You now unplug the phone or PSP. Now it is the phone. And this is how you're going to use the phone. By putting the cookie on the phone slash PSP it is now a phone that you can use to talk to your friends and moms and dads and sisters. Now we demonstrate to you how to use the phone while I'm talking to one of my friends. Hello, oh, this is John Sarkov. You are in my TV show, tutorial video. How do you feel? This is bullshit! Mm hmm. Interesting indeed. You go to Jolly Power Dog, let's take poor shit for all I can. Yes, I know how you feel. Big black woman with big tits, you can't miss her. Yes. Perfect. Where's the paper towels? Holy shit! I'm gonna go! Hmm. The phone is working. You have successful. Now what you wanna do next is take your pencil and attempt to draw a calculator. Ok, 
can now that you are done with that, you can now start solving your problems. So, for example, our first problem is going to be if they something, and I'm going to try doing this with the calculator. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try showing my work because teachers like showing work on your paper so they can grade grade, grade your paper on your homework. So we're gonna do it the simple way. We will do it this way, and hopefully we will not be distracted because there are plenty of things to do. And what you're gonna do next while solving your math problem is gonna use your calculator and try solving the math problem this way. Now here's how you use the calculator. Take your pencil the pencil and just start putting the numbers that are are in your problem. And just start putting the numbers. If you keep doing this you will you will finally get the answer. Now this should be your answer, but sometimes you have more difficult problems, so now you have more steps to do. What you wanna gonna do is take your paper and flip it over. Now, now just look, and here it is. The answer to your problem is here. Here is your answer to your problem. You have successful. And what you're gonna do next is take your paper and give it to your teacher. And if he doesn't accept it, you can always do this.